I love Ellen to the ends of this earth, but I swear to God, I can't so much as go for a piss without her telling me it's what my sister would have wanted. She lives on through us, apparently. Make every day count. Bloody angels and rainbows. The woman's a walking wall sticker. Well, if it helps her process things, then... I don't think she is, though. I don't think she's processing anything. Whenever I try to talk to her about it, she just... I don't know, it's like an act. It's like I'm watching someone being interviewed for daytime television and... Well, she doesn't talk about what happened. It's all just clichés or quotes from fridge magnets. She still refers to it as an accident. Do you think she blame her? For what happened? Does she? Well, I don't. I do. What? I blame her. For what happened. And I blame you. I blame myself. I blame the people she worked with. Her friends. The postman and her hairdresser. The woman who served her coffee at the Bean every morning because she Someone should have noticed how desperately fucking unhappy she was. We should have known. We were her family and we should have known. Maybe we did. <laughs> Maybe she did and that's why none of us can actually talk about anything anymore because it's too fucking hard. We never listened. <laughs> we never asked. God, what I'd give for just one afternoon, just one minute where I could ask her, are you okay? Do you need anything? Do you want to go and have a glass of shit wine at some crappy Italian restaurant? I never did. I never asked anything. She was just there. She was, she was always just there. <laughs>